Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Battle Styles video. Feels really good to finally say that. If you guys are excited for the Battle Styles content, make sure to slap a like on the video. Let's see if we can actually break 200 likes on today's PDCGO video. I'm feeling pretty adventurous today. Um, but yeah, the first deck I'm going to be covering is going to be the Ball Guy deck. It's a great, I guess, budgety type of deck if you uh, can't afford to build all those Rapid Strike or, you know, Single Strike, you Quad Strike, you know, all those crazy cards. If you can't afford the new set, this is a great budget deck because if you already have the Dene Crobat um, on your account, this is not that expensive. And Ball Guy seems like a really a funny archetype. It's definitely a meme, but it could be pretty fun and nonetheless. The idea is of Mr. Rhyme for a twin or a triple. You can do 10 plus 4 more damage, and um, you discard any number of items in your hand that have the word ball in your name. And this is really cool because in standard, we do have a lot of support for this. We have quite a bit of ball cards. We have Cherish Ball, Great Ball, Level Ball, Poke Ball, and Quick Ball. We also have Yamper. When you play Yamper from your hand on your bench, you may put a Poke Ball or a Great Ball or one of each from your discard into your hand. So the idea can be you play Yamper down if you already have a Poke Ball and a Great Ball in your hand. That's an extra 90 damage for Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Rhyme is a water type, which is pretty good. Of course, Fire is looking pretty good in the meta right now, especially with Corviknight coming into the game and Bronzong being pretty good too. So having the advantage of being a water type is really cool against Senna Scorch and the new Victini VMAX. Let's uh, get into it. So of course, before we do, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PCO codes, get them over there. Card Cavern sells PDCGO codes online for the cheapest. If you guys are looking to pick up any Battle Styles codes, whether it be the SEC code, the ETB code, get them over at Card Cavern, guys. And again, um, Car Kevin sells P PDCGO codes online for the cheapest. Um, and of course, guys, if you do get any codes over at Car Kevin, make sure you use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5 discount on your purchase. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help out Car Kevin too. So big shout out to Car Kevin, guys. Check them out. Use code LDF if you get any codes over there. So yeah, let's look at the list. This is the list I'm rocking with here. I really like the list. I feel pretty comfortable with the deck in the list itself. Um... So yeah, ball, ball juggling is pretty cool. Now, there are some problems with this attack. You do need a lot of cards in your hand to actually one-shot those big VMAXs. So a lot of the time, it might become a bit of a two-shot game, which is fine. You can afford to do that. You have good typing, which is like the huge advantage. You have good typing. Um, of course, the Amper here really does support the deck too um, with that ball search. And then we just have a couple other support cards like Oricorio, Dedene, and Crobat. Um, you can toy around with the supports. You can play another Dedene if you want. Having a two Dedene with Dedi change can be really good because we already have the Cherish Ball. Um, but we have Oracore for that too. Uh, the only other card I may be playing here is potentially a Mewtwo or a Eldegoss V. Other than that, that's what we're rocking with. Um, I am playing Lucky Egg in the deck. I find Lucky Egg to be really cool in here. So like your Rhyme gets knocked out, you get Lucky Egg activated. You draw cards until you have seven in your hand. Uh, this could be good. After you do your ball juggling attack, you usually have like a two or three card hand. So you actually get a lot of value out of Lucky Egg. And it helps you set up into another ball juggling the following turn. That's kind of the idea behind Lucky Egg. Vitality Band is not bad either. The numbers kind of work out in your favor with Vitality Band against certain things. For example, ball juggling can do 210 damage, um, potentially. But with a Vitality Band, you can do 220, so you're one shot Zacian. You could play a Zigzag Goon in the deck if you want also. You could cut a Yamper for a Goon. But for this sake, I've just gone at four Yamper. I got two U-turn board to give, you know, your things the free treat cost. But that's it for the Pokemon. We're just going straight up Ball Guy. We're just going Rhyme and Yamper. Uh, and again, we have a lot of balls. Thankfully, we did get the brand new Level Ball. One of my favorite cards, probably of all time, to be honest. I love this card. It's such a good card. It makes so many archetypes actually have potential. This card is really good with cards like Sinchino. Level Ball is also really good in this deck. It gets you your Mr. Mime and gets you your Yamper. There's a couple times in this video where I accidentally thought I got you Mr. Rhyme. There weren't, there wasn't game game changing misplays or anything, but it was just like something I just thought of. But Level Ball is a great card in this set um, that we now have. So we have Great Ball, Cherish Ball, Quick Ball, Level Ball, and Poke Ball. So really good stuff. You can go into Expanded if you want because you have, you have Dive Ball and just and Nest Ball and Net Ball. It's insane. <laughs> Of course, one of the big cards is going to be Ball Guy himself, my man's here. Search your deck for three different items that have the word ball in their name. So you can just go Ball Guy for Poke Ball, Level Ball, Great Ball, or Quick Ball, Level Ball, Great Ball, or Quick Ball, Level Ball, Poke Ball, Cherish Ball. Pretty cool stuff. Um, that's why I may be playing Isle of Goss, right, to get the Ball Guy back. Uh, I am playing two Research and one Erica. Not a whole lot of draw in the deck. As you can see, Ball Guy is like the supporter we want to play for our turn. Um, so Erica's good, though. There's matchups where the opponent fills the bench up. You draw six cards. Drawing more cards gets you into more balls, which means you're doing more damage. So that's why I'm playing the Erica in the deck. And the research is just, you know, it's research. Why not play? And then we got two boss. Uh, Great Catcher could go in here, too, if you want. Um, then we just got seven energy to round out the list. 
yeah, any other change I would make to it would be, you know, add Mewtwo, Eldadagos, add Goon, add Fatality Band, maybe add another draw support if you really want to. There's no other balls we can unfortunately add from here. You could max out and go for Cherish Ball, but that's way too overkill. You don't need for Cherish Ball, trust me. But we're going to try this deck on PC Joe. I'm excited. Let's get into some matches. All right, here we go, guys, into our first match with the Ball Guy deck. Uh, my opponent does have a Fire deck box, which is pretty good for us. Uh, we're still going to go first because I still want to make sure we go in first with the deck. Um... And all right, our open hand is actually really good. We can go, uh, we can Dedene here. Yeah, this hand is actually pretty nuts, if you think about it. Uh, Yamper's probably going to get knocked out, but we can net it. But what, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to Quick Ball, potentially away the Mr. Rhyme for the Mime, and then we'll Cherish Ball for Dedene the next turn, maybe. Cramorant, uh-oh. We'll play the Pokeball first. Just insane heads. Just not even, not even a chance for my opponent. They're playing against Tempozar, which is a bit of an annoying matchup. Uh, I think we have to get another Mr. Mime here so we don't get bodied by Spitshot. Actually, I think Spitshot might be glitched. I heard... I'm hearing that Spitshot might actually be glitched. Uh, do we ever net the Yamper? We're only getting a Pokeball back, but there is still value we can get out of that. We can net the Yamper here, bring in the Mr. Mime. I think no matter what, a Mime will get knocked out. Hmm. If it does, we have Rod. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll... we'll, we'll uh, Win at the rhyme and then pass. And then next turn, we'll go Yamper, get back the Pokeball. Maybe we'll top like a Great Ball or a Ball Guy. We'll see what my opponent does do here. Um, again, I'm hearing rumors that Spit Shot might be glitched. Not sure. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about the blurred background. Um, I've tried out. Okay, nice. Doesn't have it. We can actually probably knock out the cram here if we're lucky. Uh, we don't have, uh, unfortunately, we don't have Marnie or Stamp. I'm trying out a different thing with my webcam settings here. Uh, where I've made it so the background is all blurry except for my face area here. So let me know what you guys think of this. It's kind of like a cool effect. A lot of popular streamers do this. Um, okay, there's the Pokeball we're looking for. All right, just actually insane. Um, so, discard number that have ball in your hand. Okay. I think we need... Oh, we need a lot of balls. <laughs> That's what she said. We need a lot of balls, though. So we can go... We'll play the Yamper first. We'll, we'll get back the double poke. We'll get the Pokeball. Play the Pokeball. Is that three for three? Oh my gosh, ridiculous. Uh, we'll get another Mr. Rhyme, I guess. We could actually get Crobat here, but we're going to dead a change. I think we'll get another Mr. Rhyme down. I don't even... Do I want a Rod? I'm tempted not to. Because I don't want to... That's a card we don't really need in our deck. Well, no, I think we do Rod. Actually, yeah. Why would I not Rod it? Why would I not Rod it, chat? Chat? Comments. I don't know. Anyway, it's the Dene. Okay. I think we do have a KO. Like, I'm pretty certain we do. So, we got to get. We got to go 50, 90, 130, 170, 210. We need five balls in our hand here to make this work. We can also boss knock out the Abelcephalon, which is tempting. Not, I'm not going to lie. Oh. Guy concedes. Doesn't even give me a chance. That was an insane game, though. We got three heads on Pokeball, which is pretty, like, kind of nuts, to be honest. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to try this deck again. Hopefully, my opponent doesn't scoop this time before we even get to attack. I had a lot of math I had to do in my head there, but I think I always would have went Crobat first. All right. Not a bad start. I am hoping... Actually, we kind of have to bank on Great Ball again to say uh, a Mr. Mime here. We could draw a level ball. We have a billion... We okay, no. That's well, actually, no. We can... We can do this. We can Great Ball first. All right, we got the mine. My opponent opens with a coughing. Oh, don't tell me they're playing wheezing, bro. How do we ever beat wheezing? We'll net the yamper. We can get Great Ball back. We have Ball Guy in our hand. We don't have to. But I think we do because my opponent, if they get Ascension on, we don't actually have access to yamper. This actually would be a good turn to get Crobat. Mr. Rhyme, too. Okay. Let's bench this and pass. The wheezing is a little annoying, I'm not gonna lie. I'm hoping they're playing Eternatus and not wheezing. Um, okay, good, it's Eternatus. We can take down Eternatus. I mean, now we have, we have a Recorio play, but... I mean, if they go for the turn one wheezing here, it's not gonna do much, because we are gonna knock them out, right? So, not really that big of a deal. We have 110 HP, so we have to try to be a little careful with how many abilities we want to play. This is fine, though. I mean, my opponent can put the wheezing in play. They're not gonna do anything, because all we gotta do is just play Ball Guy, and we have a knockout. And they're back to square one. 
All right, let's see if uh, let's see if uh, the Mr. Rhyme deck here can take down the Eternatus deck. Eternatus definitely is still like good. Um, even Ursh Urshifu struggles to one shot it. Obviously, you can play Dojo though, and then you can play like Mar Shadow and Vitality Band. You can play a lot of stuff. Uh, Eternatus might tech in weak card though. We'll see. They're gonna straight up research. Ooh, they lose a lot of good cards there. They lose two Marnie, which I like to see. Marnie is definitely annoying to this deck. All right, they put the Weezing in play. Not a big deal. We can still get the knockout. That was like a top deck. I think we just go ball guy, and I think we just guarantee a KO, right? Go take these two. Three is a knockout, right? So it's fifty. Yeah, we go evolve. So that's it's a knockout, right? We go. 50, 90, 130. Just like that. Not, not even Weezing can survive the rhyme. They can't KO me either, I don't think. Yeah, there's no way they can. Uh, let's say I have Turbo Patch or something weird. That was a good top deck. We can just play the research here. Um, I will hold it though, because I'm assuming they're going to go Hoopa here. No, they're going to promote the Eternatus. Never mind. Interesting. Okay. Um, hmm. Honestly, I think I have to research. We can Ball Guy and hit them for 130 again though. We could go, we could go 130 and then like next turn we could try to knock them out. They go with the VMAX. It is tempting. They could keep looping Weezing, which is a little annoying. The Weezing is kind of a problem. Not really though. It's not like the biggest deal on the planet, but it is the ability shutting off our uh, deck is pretty frustrating. It's not that big of a deal though. Uh, we'll see what happens here. I mean, they don't have another E turn down. Maybe they build up Sable. I, I want them to. Another research. They're losing even more supporters. They have one Marnie left, and uh, they have one Marnie, one Research left. So that's pretty good. And they're bench locks. They can't play Crowbat right now. So that's actually pretty good. They're actually kind of in a... Uh, they're down a lot of draw draw support here, which is good. I like to see it. Uh, we'll see if they go V... If they go VMAX, uh, we're not, I, there's no way we're doing 100 or 340 damage. It's just not happening. I think they get a Tomb. They could... Okay, they could play Black Market. Black Market would be a headache for sure. We don't... I don't think I have... I might have a swell in here. I can't remember if I put a swell in the deck or not. Hit me for 30. It's... Oh, no energy. All right, that's good. Um, that was a good draw. We can just go ball guy knock him out, which... Or not knock him out, but we can just go ball guy. Well, uh, we could push for the knockout here. I don't really see a point of doing that, though. You know, I, I feel like we just go ball guy, hit for 130. They knock me out, and then we possibly knock them out if they go VMAX, which is what I want them to do. And then we just win by knocking out Crobat. So let's just go with that ball guy route. I like this route a little bit more. Yeah, this is ball juggling. I, oh, no, we could have hit him. We actually could have went, uh, we could have went uh, Yamper there. We actually could have hit him. We could have hit them a bit harder with Yamper. I don't think we had a KO. Yeah, we were... We were one ball off of KOing them there, actually, if we went Yamper with that uh, with that level ball. If we had a scoop up, now, we would have had the KO if we had one more ball to work with. So, that's fine. I'm, I'm still fine hitting them for one third. I definitely should have maybe just gotten Yamper there, but we still have bare scoop up nets left. Like, we have Oracorio, Lucky Egg, a research. The chances we don't find a Yamper, the chances we don't, like, get a big KO next turn, it's super unlikely. Um, it is good to punch them, though, because if they, I want them to go VMAX, so hopefully they go VMAX here. They could go Weezing. If they do go Weezing, I don't know if this research will get us into a knockout. Uh, which is my only issue. I'm not sure this will get us a knockout here with this research. We'll see, though. I mean, maybe we probably should have hit them a bit harder. Oh, they're actually going to boss Marcorio. That's fine. Are they going to KO it? If they don't KO it, we can just research and maybe into an energy or U-turn board. Okay, they are going to power up the coughing. That's fine. That means they're not going to go with the Eternus VMAX? Okay, never mind. Just a Power Accelerator. I, I want them to put the VMAX in play. So let's see what we draw. Nice. Another Rhyme's pretty good. We'll see if we uh, can take a knockout here. Okay, we do play Swall. Okay. So how are we doing this? We just go Retreat into the Rhyme. We just got to go... Oh, they concede. All right, so we're going to go net the Yamper, get the two balls back, take the knockout, hold on to the Cherish Ball, maybe for Dedenne or something. Yeah, seems good. I would, I probably would have held the Swell, too, in case they uh, have multiple stadiums, because I, I would assume they play Black Market. 
right? They definitely play Black Market, right? Yep, I told you this. I knew he would play it. He also had the Dark City, so he could have won the stadium race there if I put the swell down. So I would have held it. All right, another dub. All right, here we go. Get another match. Uh, could be another Eternatus deck. I, I'm surprised Eternatus is still being played on the ladder because even though Rapid Striker Shu is kind of expensive right now, there's a lot of other funny Pokemon in the set, right? All right. Pretty good opening hand here. I guess one nice thing about this deck, as long as you play multiple, like, Dedenne and Bats, you don't ever have to worry about really having a dead hand, because so you have, like, a jillion ways to draw. All right, it is another E-turn deck, which is fine. This one probably doesn't play Weezing, though, hopefully. Okay, them going first is a little annoying. I guess we can do Find It. Searching for an item card. We can Find It. This might just be a Dedenne hand, to be honest. Yeah, I might Dedenne change the hand away. Just set up a bunch of basics. Just get ready for the VMAX next turn. Again, we're never one shot to VMAX. Like, doing 304 damage is not going to happen. But we can go for a potential play. Oh, research works too. We'll play the Great Ball first. Yemper. Uh... Do I want Yamper in my hand? Yeah, we, we'll take it. We are researching. I actually don't mind having the Yamper in play. Um... Seems good to me. Because then we can net it, right? We need to find a Great Ball and a Pokeball, though, to really make it work. But we already have a Great Ball. So we'll just get a bunch of Rhymes. We actually prized Oracorio. We also prized a Mr. Rhyme. Uh, we also prized Lucky Egg. Uh, we have all the energy, which is good. Hopefully, five energy can win us the game. Five energy should be enough. Um, the ball guy's there. We got all of our nets. Rod's there. The level ball's all there. We prized a Pokeball. Okay. Uh, yeah, might as well. I'm not sure what I really care for with this, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not gonna, not, we're just gonna research. I'm not gonna bother playing the, the Dene down, obviously. Okay. So we can go for find it here and guarantee an item, which doesn't seem that great of an idea, so. Hmm. I might put the Swell in play, just in case they Marnie me. I think I'm gonna pass. No, we'll we'll twin energy the bench rhyme and pass. Because they might Marty me here. I mean they need a pretty good hand if they want to boss. If they boss KO me, it is what it is. But I want to make sure we have the energy because they could they could Marty me here. So I think we'll just play the energy down on the bench guy. Like force them to have a switch and a boss and everything. Like it's unlikely. I'm feeling pretty good, maybe one time. We'll see. Okay, there's a research. So yeah, they didn't have a Marnie. It's good. They are losing a bunch of draw cards here. That's they're down three research now. Will they be able to move Toxer? I kind of hope they do. They don't. Now I wish I held the energy because we could have possibly attacked the Eternatus here. I fully expect them to move it though. Honestly, I might just pass. Oh no, they can knock me out with the Hoopa. Okay, so we should try to go... Hmm. I mean, we'll take it. We should... We need it. We, I want to go... Uh, the Pokeball. I want to go... Uh, I want to go Mr. Rhyme here so we can't get knocked by Hoopa. There we go. I think I'm, gonna, I'm still going to pass, I think, honestly. Keep the rod. Nah, we'll research. That's fine. We'll research. We'll dig. We'll dig. Try to get a better hand for next turn. Yeah, there we go. Can we knock out the Toxic Rogue? We can knock out the Toxic Rogue, which I think we do actually want to do. Um, let me just go knock out this, knock out this. I think we just net the Yamper. Bench the Yamper. And... We could Crobat, and I wouldn't mind maybe trying to get a Lucky Egg here, but uh, that's not really worth it. Might just U-turn board the active... No, they could boss me. Oh, I do want to play this. We'll put on the, uh, we'll put on the Yamper and we'll just go Ball Juggling. One, two, three. Bye-bye, Toxbrook. So now we just got to knock out the VMAX and then the Crobat. Could be an uphill battle. I definitely wanted to evolve this guy so we don't get killed by Hoopa. We could still get knocked out if he goes, um, if he goes Hoopa, if he goes, like, slow bro Toxbrook Hoopa, he could knock me up. That's unlikely. It's very unlikely. All right, he promotes the Crobat. Wouldn't mind killing that. Again, doing 3-4 damage probably won't happen. You never know, though. I've, maybe we can hit 304 damage. It's possible. 
All right, he's going with the VMAX. We're just gonna have to two shot this, which we can afford to do. We can afford to two shot this. Oh, he doesn't have anything else in his hand. All right, this is really good chat. This is really good. Why do I keep saying chat? I do not know. Um, Yeah, this is really good though. We have a really good hand too. What's our top deck? Even better. All right, this hand is God tier. We are in a, a very good spot. Robat. Let's see if we get that knock. Well, not the knockout, but hit him. All right, nice. Um, We're doing a lot of damage right now. A lot of damage. So we're going to scoop up net the Yamper. We're going to bench the Yamper. I'm going to play the ball. Can I actually knock him out? No, there's no way. No way I got a KO, right? Take a Pokeball. Actually, we'll take. We'll keep the Cherish Ball in case we have the Dene change. This is one more out for the Dene. There's no way we have a knockout, right? I mean, I am in a full send here. Yeah. There's no way. I mean, we'll go for it. So that's what? 90 or 50 and 90, 130, 170, 210. Oh, we're so close. We're doing a lot of damage, though. Oh, no, we do need to keep a card in our hand. We need to keep the quick ball. Let's hold on. Let me do some quick math here. 50 and 90 at 130, 170, um, 210, 250. Yeah, we're not doing knockout. We need to keep the quick ball in our hand. Just full send the damage here. Yeah, 250. We're doing 290. We actually came really close. I think we still needed a lot though to get there because they have they had 90 HP left. Yeah, we we needed we needed two more. Wow, we almost had a KO. That's pretty nuts. That's fine though. We hit them really hard. They knock me out. We're just one boss away from winning now. Even though we don't play a Eldegoss or anything, then it might be tough to get that last boss KO on the Crobat. But we'll get there. We'll get there for sure. Marnie, that's fine. This actually kind of works out well because we still have a bunch of draw cards we can get. Erica's really good in this matchup too. That's why I like having the Erica too in the deck. There's the Erica. There's a scoop up net. Yeah, pretty good hand, I would say. We do get slow, bro. They can't kill me with Hoopa this turn, though, which is important. That's what I was worried about, but they can't do that now because they've already attached a Spirit Tomb. They could just swing with Spirit Tomb here. Uh, we could then net to Dene and net Yamper, bench to Dene, and try to get into a boss knockout. No, yeah. All right, that's fine. We're they're just going to sack the uh, E-turn. We're going to happily knock it out. Yeah, I mean, this game should be pretty much, like, wrapped up. We just need to get into a boss play. We have an Erica. They are only down one Marnie, though. Gotta be a little careful there. So, so we only need two tools here. I do want to get another Mr. Rhyme down. So we're gonna play the ball guy. I'm actually only gonna get one tool here, or one one thing. I just want to get a rhyme. We, we just net the amper knock him out. We don't have to. We don't have a rhyme in the. Oh no, rhyme doesn't work with level ball. Okay, whatever. That's fine. For some reason, I thought we can grab Rhyming Level Ball. It's fine. I do... We bench Mr. Mine. Yeah, bench this. Do this. Just kind of got to be wary of a Marnie. So we do have a knockout. They have 90 HP left on the dot. I'm going to hold the Erica because that's a draw card we can play. We'll take a knockout. Or Corio is still in the deck, which is a really good card to get here. Let's see. Big KO. How many energy do we have left? Two left. I mean, we can also just knock out the Tomb and then something else. Oh, actually, bro. Okay, we can knock out the slow bro. Uh, the slow bro would still be the same amount of math. Because it'd still be 170. So we'd still have to do the same amount of damage. So it doesn't matter. Or Corio is off the prizes. There's Lucky Egg. All right, that would have been really good this turn in case they Marnie me. Because we, we were getting close to the Crobat. Now they can kill me with Hoopa here. They can't kill me with Tomb. They can kill me with Hoopa. And the Tomb's doing what? 70 damage. Okay, now Tomb can kill me because of the poison damage, I guess. They probably want to go Hoopa though because it has more HP. I mean, I still think the game is over, um, no matter what. I still think the game is over. It's pretty hard for them to win, in my opinion. It is pretty hard for them to win. Yeah, I don't think we're going to quite get the boss. I mean, we need a lot, right? We need to get the rhyme. We need to get a boss. We need to get an energy. We need to get a bunch of... T yeah, we're probably not going to win the game this turn. I think it's fine just to settle with the knockout on the tombs. We came very close to one-shotting that E-turn, though. Literally, I think we were one ball away. 
I'm actually kind of glad I got the mime now, just in case we do whip the knockout. It's likely. It's, it is likely. We aren't getting a full value Erica here because my opponent doesn't have an E-turn play. If he still get six cards, we're not going to get that full insanity eight card draw with Erica. Looks like they are going to rebench a Crobat, though. I mean, it's still the same amount of damage, right? Unless we, unless we have, like, a Vitality Band or a Goon Ping. I don't think the Goon is necessary, right? Just, well, we actually, Goon would not be bad because then you can uh, one-shot Zacian for the 210 damage. Maybe we could play Vitality Band. I don't know. Maybe we can cut a U-turn board for a... Uh, maybe we can cut a U-turn board for a uh, Vitality Band. Might not be bad. I guess then we can one-shot E-turn too. Yeah, maybe maybe we should play Vitality Band in the deck, guys. Maybe that wouldn't be a bad idea. We could play the Goon, I guess, because we already have the scoop up net. I guess either or would work. All right, let's see what they got here. We'll see if they go Hooper Tomb. They are going to go Tomb. All right, that's fine. That means we only think I rid of one ball to knock this out, which actually is pretty good for us, to be honest, because then we can save more ball. Because then we, I, we would have, cause they can go like full send here. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter, but I think it's fine. So we go promote the Mr. Mom. We have two rhymes left. There's Ball Guy. Play the Pokeball. Busted. Insane heads. All right, we got two energy in the deck. So we have to go Erica this turn. All right, this should get us here. We have Oracorio too, so it's pretty likely we get the uh, knockout. Yeah, there we go. We got the other rhyme, which is good too. And all right, we attach. Do we ever bench Oracorio here? I think we do because we need to be stamp proof. Well, they could knock me out with poison, I guess, but I think it's fine to bench this. Not really any harm in doing so. We need to save the U-turn board, though. So we go all juggling. We just got to get rid of one tool, or one tool, one guy here. And that card is going to be the level ball because Cherish Ball and Quick Ball give us an out to Dedenne next turn in case we get stamped to one. What's our prize? Boss? That's pretty good. If they bench a low enough HP Pokemon, maybe we don't have to go as committed to knock out Hoopa. Because with Hoopa, we need three balls. If they bench another Tomb, or they bench another Krogunk, or they bench another... They bench a Goon or something, we don't have to commit as much energy. Okay, so we aren't going to get value out of Lucky Egg here. Uh, they need to Marnie me, or else we should win. Nope, just an Assault Gate. Okay. We just need energy here. We don't, unfortunately, get access to Oracorio. Scoop up net. Ooh, that's actually kind of bad. Should have a Yamper left, though. Yeah, not being able to play Oracorio here is actually kind of hurting me. We need that last energy, guys. So, how do we win this? We need to have one ball left in the deck. We need to have a Yamper and a ball left in order to take a knockout this turn. That's our only win con. Now, they actually can't win the game because there's no way they can hit Oracorio for weakness. So Oracor they can't win next turn. So our, our other alternative plan could be retreat into Yamper, sack the Yamper, and then we get Oracorio. And then we should draw the last card. We'll play this and see if we even have the Yamper out in the deck. We do not. If we did any, we will not win the game. Hmm. So we have to retreat the Yamper and pass. They have, yeah, we they have to knock out Yamper this turn. We did just waste our U-turn board. So actually, guys, they should win here if they trap Oracorio, which is not good. They could also just poison me. Then I scoop up net. We could draw the energy. If we draw the energy. We're not going to win, though, because we're still one ball short. I mean, I had to play level all the check, right? Please just knock me out. Let's go! Okay. We win if we do not whip energy. We win if we do not whip energy. It's not energy. Anyway, I can... Okay. No, we're guaranteed to draw, right? We go ball guy for that Pokeball. And the last three cards. All right, we got him. We got him. We got him. So last three cards. We're drawing our whole deck. Get the twin energy, and that will wrap up the game over my opponent. All right. That was a very close match. My opponent almost knocked me out. Or almost knocked me out. Almost beat me here, I should say. We'll, let's do this real quick, just to be on the safe side. Just don't want to... Yep, they can see. All right, just don't want to be... Don't want to be, you know... I want to be a little safe. But anyways, we beat another Turtus deck. Not bad. Not doing too bad. Hey, we got some packs to open up. It's a bit of an older set. Vivid uh, Voltage, but uh, we'll open them up for sure. 
I don't even think I need anything. I think I just need Guru and I guess I'll fill our Colossal and pretty much all I need from this set. That was a good game though. Very close match. I don't think I did anything wrong in that game. It was just kind of down to whether... Uh, well, well, yeah, it was down to like having Oracorio, right? Or not having Oracorio. Kind of sucked. All right. Just got two Vivid Voltage packs to open up here. The older of the sets, but that is fine. Uh, there's still some stuff in this set we can pull. What do we get? Oh, creamy. And we got a milk in the same pack. All right. Let's just get Secret Guru and move on with our lives. Here we go. All right, moving on with our lives. Get the Guru. All right, getting into the match. I want to maybe play against a potential uh, fire deck. We I haven't ran into a welder deck yet, which is kind of surprising, not going to lie. I mean, I'm glad I haven't ran ADP. I don't know if this deck can beat ADP, guys. Let's be honest. Can this deck really beat ADP? Probably not, but it is what it is. But it can beat Sun Scorch and Victini VMAX. There's that. We'll see what we're playing against here. Let's go. We hit a welder deck. All right, we'll play the Pokeballs first. Um, ooh, come on. We got a lot of heads that well. We got a lot of heads that one game. Hmm. I'm going to quick ball away ball guy for another rhyme. I think we're just going to have to dead a change next turn, which is fine by me. Was dead a change into a better hand and then just knock out the Volcanian. Unfortunately, we have to get rid of two balls to knock it out. It's a sense course deck. All right. If there was ever a time where a matchup would be easy, bro, this would be it. Uh, they play ear ringing bell, which is very weird. I don't know why they play that, but okay. We could have gotten uh, Oracorio there, but because they're probably gonna flare starter. But I, I just don't want to just play it safe. They can, I mean, they can go hot burn, right? I'm, not, I'm just gonna play it safe. I want them to actually KO me here, so I can knock out something else that's not Volk. But it looks like they are gonna settle with a flare starter most likely, which is fine. I mean, we knock them out, and we knock out um, another Sun Scorch, knock out Heat Ran, game's over. They do play your ringing bells, which I mean, it doesn't really make a difference, but it's like such a weird card to see. Two Heat Ran, not just one. I Man's got two Heat Rans. I don't know why he's got two. Okay. Now, the Volcanium is actually a bit of a headache, too, because it does one-shot my Mr. Rhyme, which is fine, I guess. I don't know. Let's see where they put the energy. It's going to be on each thing. Yeah, it is. Okay, smart. Um, There's a Ball Guy top deck. We could just take a KO here, uh, which I think I do. We can play the Ball Guy and actually go get rid of Cherish Ball, get Level Ball, we can grab Hokey Ball. No, we want to get Great Ball. We want to get Great Ball on the discard. We only get rid of two things here. So we can actually just play the level ball for uh, another. We'll get the last Mr. Mime, I think. Yeah, we'll get the last Mr. Mime in play. Just go ball juggling. One, two. If only we did 60 damage, we can get rid of one ball, but that's fine. This is where the Vitality Band can come in handy. As you can see, another situation where it could be good. Uh, we'll take our prize. Scoop up net. All right, that's fine. If we can draw into a Yamper, we can play that and maybe go from there. Honestly, we could maybe go down to three nets or three Yampers. Playing the four, I think, is just played safe. But you can def I can definitely see a reason why you'd want to play less. So we just got another Volk, Senna Scorch, Heat Ran. You can just see why the Rhyme is good, right? It's like, you, we beat two Eternatus decks, which is, you know, good enough. You know, 3, 4 HP, it's nice to beat it. But the fact that Welder is such a strong archetype right now, and the fact that it probably got better because of how good Metal is now and because of Billowing Fan, you can just see how it is good to play this. Ooh, he does lose his last to Denny probably, and a boss. Oh no, Marnie, that's not a boss. Oh, he did lose a boss. It's a very weird list. I don't really understand why he's playing you he ringing bell and two he ran and Marnie and research, but whatever. Anyways, so here we go. We just, I mean, we're in a really good spot, I feel like. Hey, it's gonna be hard to lose this, I feel like, unless we like brick off this to Denny. Got another ball guy. Actually, shh. Yeah, let's play it because we can get Oracorio here with this. Well, is it in the deck yet? It's okay. We'll get Oracorio. Great ball. Get Pokeball. Play the Cherish Ball first. Grab the Oracorio. We're still going to do Dead A Change this turn. But, uh, try so a bit more. Uh, we'll play the Great Ball first. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Uh, Mr. Rhyme. Okay, never mind. Yeah, getting Oracorio here is good because we do need the energy. We'll play the Pokeball. Nice. Uh, we'll take the rhyme. Get two of those in play. Daddy changed. Let's see if we can get energy in a couple balls. There's the energy. All right, nice. We'll play this. Do we get? Okay. Let me go Yamper. Great ball, Pokeball. You can play one of these. Not really a point though, because we probably throw the rhyme. 
We can Lucky Egg the active. I don't think we want to do that, though. Well, they do play Marnie, actually. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll play it. They might. They do play Marnie in their deck, so they might Marnie me here. We'll just go ball juggling. All right, see a Volcanion. All right, now we just got to knock out the Sun Scorch, which we would need... We need to do 170 damage. So we need, what, four balls here, All right? 50 and 90 at 130 at 170. So we need four balls to KO with Sun Scorch VMAX. And then three balls scale heat ran because they have oh they got a heat energy that's fine that's still three balls because wait is it yeah 170 times two is 340 yeah that's still three balls that's fine though i mean it means five balls is even not that hard to hit anyways it's not a big deal but you know what i mean we do need to get rod actually because we're we're out of mr rhyme now um yeah, we need to find Rod this turn. I'm probably just going to go Erica here, to be honest. Well, eh, maybe not. Actually, I think, honestly, I might just research. We get more cards out of research here. Yeah, we're going to research. We need to find Rod this turn. That is what we need to find here. An ordinary Rod. Okay. Well, this bad boy. We draw. All right, play that down. Board. Here. Play this. Not gonna grab anything. I am gonna crowbat because I do want to find this rod if I can. Didn't get it there. Not the research. We are losing some energy. That's fine though. We should be able to finish this game off next turn, anyways. Don't get the rod again. Uh oh, that's not good. All right, we can afford to play one ball. We'll play this to thin it. Okay, the, the rods are in the deck. We don't get a rod here. We're going to be down a turn, which is really not good. So we really need to get a rod here. Come on, rod. No, we didn't get the rod. No. All right. We're not going to be able to take another knockout next turn. Which is fine. Disappointing. There's nothing in the world, though. I mean, it's pretty bad, but we'll see what happens. We can always just sack a Yamper, so it's not a big deal. I'm just going to go ball juggling. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll keep the quick ball. Okay. Yeah, very unfortunate we did not get the rod. Now, they could boss on my two prizes, and I just win the game that way. We do have a Mr. Mime prize, so this would be a good turn to get it. Energy's good. Mime? Mime? No, dude, the Mime is the last prize. Oh, my God, we might actually lose this. Oh, my goodness. That's not good. We drew a lot of cards there, so it's really shocking we didn't draw the uh, the thing, the rod. We actually have to get both rods, because they're probably going to boss my... Well, will they boss me? They're only down one boss. Research? Oh, they have five cards left. Maybe we can deck them out. Yeah, not getting the KO there, or yeah, not getting the Mr. Mime is really bad. We might actually lose this. Maybe. Well, we'll see. Actually, honestly... We can boss or Sun Scorch V here, maybe trap it. Well, they haven't played a Fire Crystal yet, but they are they're out of Sun Scorch V Max, right? They also have they're down three switch. We're definitely sacking Yamper. We need to find the rod. That is not ordinary rod. Oh boy. Well, we can't uh, we can't even draw any mm, we can't draw any more cards either, right? We can't draw into into an we can't research obviously so we have to just work choreo and hope we get rod here there we go okay we got both that's huge that's huge we definitely need to get both both uh both guys okay this should be this should be game then right because we just go rod these two back we do double level ball I actually am bossing Sun Scorch too to try to trap it. I do like that play quite a bit. Right. They could be stuck, so. Uh that's our last energy. If they Marnie me though, that'd be annoying. But they Marnie me, we can maybe go with the Yamper play. I mean they would need switch boss, which is very likely. They still probably have one boss, one switch left, so I'm gonna hold the hand. Well, no, actually, if they do that, then they can't Marnie me. But it actually doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter, actually. They can't... Well, they could play a reset stamp, I guess. But that would shuffle the deck, so then I could still find the triple. It's not the end of the world. There's a giant hearth. 
Uh, they're down seven. Okay, there's the switch. Yeah, they had a far crystal anyways, but still. Making, making them have to move the Sense Scorch seems pretty good. Do they have a boss? They have a welder. Okay, that's fine. That is also not a Marnie, so we should win here. Should be able to win this. We can oh no, we can just boss this. We don't even have to go all in on the heat ray. We can just boss the Hulk, I think. Right? Yeah. Steaming Stomp. Okay. We sh I think we're guaranteed Mr. Rhyme. There's three in the deck, right? There's three rhymes in the deck here, because we put two back. I think we're guaranteed to draw. So let's go dance a tribute. You just need to find the rhyme. I guess we could whiff it. Oh, we almost did. Jeez, chill game. That was close. Yo, Yamper. Get these back. And that'll be game. All juggling. One, two, three, four, five. GG's. Aw, oh, another against Bro, why does my opponent not let me win the game? Oh my goodness. Anyway, so that'll be it for the video, guys, on the Ball Guy deck. I hope you guys enjoyed today's PDCGO video. Very fun deck to play. Honestly, I'm very content with this list. I don't think I'm cutting anything other than maybe a third Yamper, right? I think I might just cut a Yamper for an extra... I don't know, actually. Maybe an extra... Uh, I guess another draw sporter wouldn't hurt. I actually wouldn't mind having the third Lucky Egg, to be honest. The Lucky Egg is kind of good in this deck. I might play a third Lucky Egg in the deck, too. Maybe I'll actually... Maybe I'll play a Mewtwo or a uh, Zigzagoon. That 10 damage won't be bad. But anyways, that's all right with the video, guys. Again, make sure you guys uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. And let's try to smash 200 likes in this video. That like button would be greatly appreciated. Let me know what you guys thought of the list down below. What do you guys think of the deck? Very fun deck to play. Uh, pretty cool stuff. We took down Turnus. We beat Sun Scorch. Once again, we are a water-based deck. So playing against fire decks is really good. And I'll see you guys uh, later tonight for a stream at 6 six thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And also, guys, there will be... The VMAX videos next time. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.